Hey there, my name is Jen and welcome to Cashmere and Cocktails. If you find this video looks a little bit different from the ones that I normally post to YouTube, then you're right, it is. Normally my videos are very produced, I have lighting, I have mics, etc. and this one is not that. Here's the thing, I want to start having vlog videos up on YouTube. That's for two main reasons. Reason number one, it will save me a heck of a lot of time. It's not that I won't be, you know, creating those other videos that I normally do. I still want to do those at least once every week or two. But I, I would like to give you more content and in order to do that, I can't be <laughs> editing videos for 10 hours for 10 minutes of video if that makes any sense. I've purchased a vlogging camera. I was really hoping that Amazon Prime would pull through and have it here by Friday because Friday um, my family and I are gonna go on a little mini vacation and I use vacation very, very loosely here. My in-laws own a really nice, um, like a camp. I was gonna say cottage, they have a cottage, but this is not that. Uh, my in-laws own this this camp in the woods. It's in the middle of nowhere really and it's beautiful It's very rustic and we're just gonna kind of escape for the weekend. We haven't been able to go away since What feels like forever? I mean realistically was probably March the last time that I was away and it was right at the brink of everything going down so I flew to Edmonton to see my sister when life here was normal and by the time I returned everything had been turned upside down. A lot of our trips were cancelled. Uh, all of our trips. Not a lot. All of them. All of them were cancelled. We have not really done anything. We were able to go to the uh, island, so Prince Edward Island over the summer just because we had an Atlantic bubble going on at, at the time. That bubble is no longer um, so we're really really confined <laughs> to our areas. And so we're gonna take the weekend, we're gonna take the kids up to um, the camp, we're gonna slide, we're gonna snowshoe, we're gonna cook, it's gonna be, it's gonna be nice. It'll be family time and I'm very fortunate, I'm very fortunate that we're able to do this. And I would have loved to take you along, but Amazon is busy because it's the holidays and two day delivery for this camera is not a thing. I will probably only receive it sometime next week. I'm still going to try to film little bits of our weekend to be able to include in this video. So <laughs> if future Jen gets to that, you will see some of our uh, trip in either this video or the next. I don't know what I'll be able to do. But yeah, so basically new cameras coming. It's coming later than I wanted, but that's okay. And I'll be able to film some of the things we do over the holidays and take you along for that instead. But today, the reason I'm vlogging today is because I got another wine delivery. It's, it's amazing. Magnetic Hill Winery has been the MVP of 2020 for me. If I had one silver lining <laughs> to 2020, it was all of the free wine they've sent me, it's amazing. I got a Christmas delivery from them, it was so sweet and I'm going to open it with you today and see what's in it. This part of the video is in partnership with Magnetic Hill Winery. They have been amazing. I can't believe actually how much wine they have sent me over the last few months. I mean, they may be my new favorite people, I'm just saying. <sighs> like these boxes are actually super heavy. I don't know if I can... Oh, I don't think I'm gonna be able to open this without. Okay, wait a second. Ugh. Oh man, this probably isn't the safest of options, but it's the only one I can see that's available. So I'm gonna try not to stab myself today. I'm just gonna tie my hair. Also, if you're wondering, this shirt is not mine, it's my boyfriend's, but it's so cozy. He hates when I take his things. <laughs> But I was home alone most of the day today and he's not here to police it. So here we are. Okay. Okay, I'm scared of what I'm gonna do here. Maybe there's a way that I can 
I'm gonna get better at unboxing videos. At least I hope I will. I promise that I'm going to try to look up the proper way to have an unboxing video. Okay. Oh. Aaron calling me about diaper sizes. This is what our life has come to. Diaper sizes. Holy moly. My weak, my weakling arms. My upper body strength is actually awful. So they sent a really cute card and look at this. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas, but if white runs out, I'll drink red. That's so cute. They sent a pretty card, that's so sweet. We truly love your style. Merry Christmas, and thank you so much for your photography work. I love it. I don't know if you can see this. I'm gonna make sure to get a shot of this um, after, just, just so that you really get the gist of what it looks like. This. Wait. Oh, there's even little confetti and I love their wines like this wine here is actually one of my favorites from their brand it's the Lodestone Lodestone <sighs> language is so hard for me lately Lodestone Red. Now, if I'm not pronouncing that right, I'm sorry, but I sure like drinking it. This one is one of my favorites. And I'm so excited that they sent it. This was a really nice white. Again, I, I don't know that I can say this. Osceola? I'm sorry, you're gonna see with time that I stumble on words quite a bit, but I promise that uh, I am Anglophone. I, I don't know what happened <laughs> over the years. I think it's from mixing English and French, but anyway, people who know me know that I always have a soft spot for red wine, and I don't tend to go for white so much, but I really did enjoy this one. I think it was mostly because it was dry. I'm so happy that this was sent to me. There's more underneath. Like, they sent two full boxes. <laughs> two full boxes of wine! They're so amazing, and honestly, their wines are so tasty. I can't believe that I hadn't really discovered them yet until they reached out. I had tasted two of their wines, actually. I shouldn't say that I hadn't discovered them, but I did not know that they had such a variety of wine. Like, I had no idea. I'm completely blown away, and I think you should be too. You need to check them out. They also have really beautiful, um, they have a really beautiful property. I wanted to make it this summer and life got in the way every single time. COVID also got in the way and so it just didn't work out. But next year I am planning over the summer to pop in for a visit and they offer this picnic on the terrace where you can drink wine and have like snacks and overlooking the, the vineyard. It's stunning stunning so I'm really excited about that next year this is one of the ones that I had tasted in the past it's the magnetic the magnetic hill winery illusions like pinot grigio but its secret ingredient is rhubarb and this is a really good one to pick up it has that tartness I remember tasting this and loving it I also have a friend who well she's the one who encouraged me to try it so Definitely pick one up of those. Oh, they're rosé. See, I didn't even know they had a rosé. This is what I mean. I've discovered all of these wines and it's so exciting because I had no idea they had so many. I like the fruity wines, but I enjoy either using them in a cocktail or sprucing up something like even a spritzer. I like toning it down a little bit, but if you're into fruity wines, they have like one, two, three, four, so many, so many options. So I'm not sure what we're gonna have yet for supper because I'm last minute all the time and was running around doing other things today and didn't really plan supper. Um, I may make hoisin salmon, which is not even really a recipe. I literally just throw store-bought hoisin onto salmon and bake it, but I like it and my daughter likes it. So I may do that. If I do, I'm going to open a bottle of this I think that would be delicious. 
and would go really well together. And if I don't, there are leftovers in the fridge. My boyfriend had made a really good like rustic type of shepherd's pie thing over the weekend with stewed beef and stuff and it was delicious. And so if I eat leftovers, I am 100% opening a bottle of this. I may have to open a bottle of both. We'll see how wild the evening is, though we haven't had many wild evenings as of late. Most evenings look like me sitting in front of my laptop and working while we binge watch some episode of something on Netflix. Yeah, exciting times. <laughs> pajamas. I'm not sure if you can fully appreciate the penguin situation. I can't make too much noise. It's like six in the morning. That's what happens when you have a toddler. You awake at like five. Also, I'm filming this on my phone, as you can see, because I haven't received my other camera yet. And so... Quality is probably pretty crappy. Sorry. So pretty. Freshly fallen snow. We actually thought we were going to be getting a storm. Oops, I stepped on something. But we didn't. It's just really pretty. Very fitting for the season.